hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so this video is in continuation to my previous video where i talked about my interview experience with bot or a bot interview so like you know after they reviewed my answers to the questions that they posted in that bot uh, uh bot round uh, i had a second round of interview with the delight where there are two panels in the you know in the interview forum and uh, like uh, one guy was focusing specifically on tableau and the other guy was uh, focusing more on uh, sql knowledge so one advice or suggestion i would like to give uh, to all my you know friends or watchers whoever are seeing this video is if at all you are going to attend an interview with delight make sure you are covering all the topics of tableau if you're going for tableau and you know if you are adding uh warehousing as an experience i would suggest you know to go through all the warehousing concepts as well and sql is like one of the very uh, important things to add on to this because you know when we go for an interview with the delight uh, he or she might be che checked in all the aspects so interview will be pretty detailed and uh, in terms of uh, complexity i would say it is uh, you know more than a medium because they expect uh, the candidate to be uh, very sharp very you know up to the mark uh, <clears throat> kind of thing so i you know suggest you to go through thoroughly make sure you are aware of all the functions uh new charts that you have used your dashboard knowledge you are uh you know the best practices that we have used in project all you need to keep that in your mind while answering the questions that you will be asked during the interview so let me uh, go through the questions that i was asked in the interview so i was able to you know recollect uh, only few so i've uh, you know written them here and uh sql i think they asked me only uh, three questions and uh, in in, uh, in tableau i had like 14 to 15 questions uh, not 14 like 16 uh, plus questions i remember here and there were some questions on warehousing con data warehousing concepts as well uh, that i uh, didn't write here because i was i'm specifically focusing on tableau here so like uh, to start off first uh, question like you know in any interview that they ask you know uh, tell me about yourself or you know go through your profile this is something that is very very important and i have been fo focusing on this a lot so I, I request again to go through that video if you have not seen that and after that you know the first question was on filters what what are the different types of filters again this is very important uh, important and very important uh, concepts in terms of uh, implementation and in terms of interview as well so any interview you go there is a probability that at least one question will be there on filters topic so if you are getting this type of question at least it take five to seven minutes to answer this question because this is something which is very easy and you should cover all like what is filter what is the basic definition of filter click restricting data now how we restrict the data at different levels we can do so based on that filters are categorized into many types like our data source filters our uh, extract filters our context filters normal filter a cascading filter sharing filter again sharing filter can be done in a two way uh, two to three ways like you know uh, only this uh, apply to only this worksheet or uh, selected worksheets or um, sharing across the data source so this type of thing then had a level filter view level filter your quick level filter uh, cascading filter this so this all filters you need to explain you know because time consuming is also one of the important factors here so because it is not uh, like uh, uh, possible that you know if an interviewer is asking 20 questions we might answer all 20 of them so it's not possible but we should what we can technically how we can uh, see this is you have to play as as long as possible it's kind of test match so if you are getting a good question try to explain in detail about that so that way we are consuming the time so here uh, if you observe the other statistics 
the average length duration of an interview is around uh, 30 to 45 minutes okay so in this 30 to 45 minutes i would rather spend my time in answering the question that i know in detail than in giving a chance to the interviewer to ask something that i don't know okay so think think from that also and plan accordingly so next question was like you know what is context uh, filter and its pros and cons so here like you know what i did was i i explained him my scenario like how many context filters i had whether it was impacting the performance of uh, my dashboard or not so that analysis i explained him like you know, too many context filters might slow down your uh what do you call the performance of your dashboard again this is like uh, an argumented to answer so do let me know if you if you have ever you know argued in an interview like you know my answer is right or you know his answer is right and sometimes there is a probability that you know interviewer might also be wrong so what do you do generally in that kind of you know situation the, you do you go back and say hey, no boss you know uh, my answer is right because sometimes they don't interview they don't you know want to uh, tell that you know i am wrong or something like that. so this kind of tricky situations happens so let me know uh, you know in the comments if you have come up, come across this kind of situations so in my experience i have come come across like two to six, two to three situations where you know interviewer was wrong i know pretty much sure that you know he was answering you know his answer was incorrect but mine was true so in one case i argued uh, saying that you know no my my answer is correct and you know i, I didn't get uh, the call later on for the next round then i understand okay maybe you know he didn't like my answer or uh, he didn't like my the way i have argued so and uh, in other case like when uh, he said no my answer is correct even though i knew that okay he was wrong i said i simply just said okay and i have moved on to the next question because for us number of questions that the interviewer is asking is important because he'll, he's probably going to see the probability like if he's asking 10 questions how many of them you know, uh, are we able to answer next was you know how do blending work in the background so if you are you know keeping some x number of years in your tableau uh, so this question is something that is very important because <clears throat> so this kind of questions comes generally when you are going for a senior position how blending works here so there like simply what we do when we know about blending when they are different data source we try to merge that is what is blending so this is a simple answer that we try to give here we need to explain him how it is working like you know we need to have one common column between both the uh, tables or data sources that we are trying to merge then how the data is being pulled that we need to explain him so if you are able to explain the concept or how the data will be retrieved then you will get at least two to three marks extra in this kind of questions okay so i have posted one uh, special video on this blending concepts do watch so, so again this is very you know important question so again what is difference between join and blending again this is very very important question so uh, you can refer to my video where i have answered this question or uh, this uh, concepts in detail so what are parameters and explain about them so one very generic question so again like if i'm going uh, if i'm an interviewer i generally ask like why do i need uh, a parameter because i can do all that using my filters so parameters are generally introduced to bring in dynamicity okay so that is one thing and like uh, to increase the interactivity with the report to so what you can do here is you can explain you know one or two use cases where you have used parameters in your dashboard so that will give uh, the interviewer and knowledge that okay you have implemented parameter for so and so purpose like you know one generic use case is uh, sheet swapping or you know uh, i would say top n uh, filters uh, like top uh, end customers you want to find out for so far that we can implement parameter so this kind of uh, you know examples you can give to answer this question next are what are actions and what are different action filters again like if i talk specifically about dashboard concepts i mean the concepts of dashboard one question that we can expect expect is what are the action filters so we have uh, 
filter action we have url action we have uh, set actions we have parameter actions we have highlight actions so these are the different types of actions that are available and to answer to this you can also tell that okay these are the types of actions available and we can implement this action in three ways like you know on hover on select or uh, like on uh, menu option like three options are there so you can uh, go on and explain like what are different possible uh, possibilities are there and how we need to implement actions so like again what we know we should consume most time what we don't know and suppose if you are guessing so we can give like one word answers so again like some questions on charts here like did we ever uh, like what is scatter plot chart and what is different types of joins uh, scatter plot chart box plot histogram chart and this are this were some of the questions that were asked on charts again uh, one generic question explain different types of joins in tableau again one very important question okay so joins you take it at sql level or tableau level are important from the interview perspective because you need to know how the data will be coming when you make a join so that is why this question is being tested so now again one uh, questions like uh, how to manage when locations are not identified by tableau this was the question that I, uh, so when you are using maps uh, you know in uh, dashboard so in real time often it happens that you know it does not recognize the location so how will you fix that thing so that is the one common question that the interviewer asked so we need to manually go and you know set uh, from the maps options we need to set that and fix the location there and that is when it will show up and it will uh, you know plot on the map so what is dual access chart explain so you can explain how dual access work like you know duplicating an already existing measure which will create two axes and we can customize our single uh, chart into like an enhanced or optimized version of that and we can do much more that like in one i want to show uh, profit or in another i want to show or something else then i can you know use dual access chart to customize my chart like i can create different types of charts i can create a bordered chart i can create a rounded bar chart so so using a, a dual access chart i've created some of the charts so you can watch them in my channel and then what is uh, next question was what is ytd year till date okay again uh, year over year growth uh, is also there and y to d is also there year to date is year till date so you want to find out you know how much of growth we had year till date so i have written the you know dummy calculation that we can use to find out the year to date so it is uh, i mean it is always be helpful if you can remember this kind of formulas okay so so that really at least you know on a gross you can tell him this is the formula using which we can find out year till date so implementation is again from tableau perspective that can be taken care of while working on it so next was what is styled and floating in dashboard so whenever we are adding an object in dashboard so you see there are two options at the bottom in the objects section one is styled and floating so tiled means it will take up the entire space that is available in dashboard and as you add on objects it will automatically adjust the size whereas in floating it is like floating you have to manually adjust your size of that uh, objects that you are adding so that is styled and floating so what are what are you what is uh, or what are user filter and how to apply them so this is again like you know with reference to our security of the data so how do you apply row level security so for that the option is user level filter so you go to server under that there is an option called as user filter there you will assign whatever the you know uh, permissions that you want and you can you can create user filter so this was the questions that i was asked in the tableau then you know there were sql questions like uh, write a query to display top two employees with the highest salary again the here the intention is you need not be exact so here because we do not have sql to correct whatever we are writing so you will be judged on the gross query that you are writing so i would uh, what one tip i can give here is make sure your syntax is correct at least okay so leave about uh, the the fields that you are trying to use in there so at least make sure your syntax you are syntactically correct so if if that is correct then you know uh, you will get one mark for that 
and how will you uh, identify duplicate records in that again it is like uh, there are uh, many ways using which we can find out duplicate records like using a having condition i can do uh, uh, generally so you can explain that and how will you remove them again this is a like you know uh, a number of ways you can remove like creating a temp table and uh, you know filtering out the data by identifying using the above query so these were the questions that i was asked in deloitte so i'm currently waiting for the review from them or you know the uh, waiting for the reply from them i'll keep you posted on that so if you like my video please like share and subscribe okay have a good day guys bye bye